subscribe. What up, Spam Fam? Yeah, there's a nice little uh, dip in the spine now. <laughs> I've worn the spine down. <laughs> anyway, hello. Welcome. Episode 36. Wow. It's a lot. Today we're doing this prompt, cut, cuts through layers. And I'm like, I am not cutting through here. <laughs> And I have no magazines, I have no newspapers, because who does that anymore? So I need to come at it from a different angle. But I did do a little bit of research on the old Pinterest and found something that I could get away with. So there's this art style that you basically layer the paper and it creates like a 3d type thing but I'm not gonna cut through the paper I'm gonna try and draw it and make it look like it's cut through whether <laughs> I achieve it or not is a different matter and it's gonna get confusing because I need to do like at least eight layers with bits of a picture on each different layer and then I have to colour them all in different different shades which I need to make sure that they're not even close to each other. I need to see a distinct difference between each layer. So my theory is I've numbered the layers so that I know which colours are going where because we've got ones just floating sort of in the in mid-air type thing. So I'm setting out like a little mermaidy underwater scene for this one. We've got some sort of angel fish my little puffer fish that I always do when I do undersea things. A stingray and a mermaid because it is mermaid. And because I haven't drawn enough mermaids this this May. <laughs> if if you haven't seen, I um I do a short every day. And this month's challenge is mermaid. I'm struggling. <laughs> struggling this month. <laughs> I am now trying to work out the colours. So layer one is going to be white. But I'm trying to, I don't necessarily want a gradient, I just need to make sure that all my colours are clear and distinct so that you know but it's not connected to the next layer, if that makes sense. Once I finish it, I think you'll understand what I'm trying to do. I was going to line, but then I remembered that I don't need to line it. <laughs> Instead, I chose to erase most of it and then just draw the layer that I'm currently working on so that I know where I need to work from. However, once I get into it, I'm, I, I get into the flow. I can start telling the difference without having to draw them. So I've used a grey to make like a shadow 
to make this colour darker. And also using like hard to light pressure helps with the shading. So as you can see, it looks like I've punched holes through that top layer to show the layer beneath. So I'm just going to chip away at this until I get to the, the deepest colour, the darkest colour. See, it annoyed me there. If you can see, the, there's a little fish in the corner, in the, the bottom corner. But the colours are too close together. I made a boo-boo there. But... Mm, we've just got to be more careful on the next couple of layers. I was just testing whether... I need to bring the black in yet, whether the, the blue is dark enough to use black without making it look horrible. <laughs> uh. the mermaid layer now. And we're getting to the deeper colours now, which is helping the upper layers to pop just a little bit more. Just a mermaid silhouette. No details. We're just going silhouette. So, I think... No, that's not the last layer. I added some rocks and some extra weeds in, the, in this layer. And this is the layer of the stingray. So, I've just brought that black in to darken this layer. Because this is the bottom, so I want this to be really dark. But I do think I achieved it, the cut through layers. Definitely got a 3D vibe. But that's that one. I'm going to smooth it out with a... What's the pencil called? Blender. Colored pencil blender, that's the one. <laughs> but now we're going to do the other side. But we've gone down to the depths of the sea. Now we're going to go up to the sky. Through the sky. Depth of the sea. To infinity and beyond. Sorry, I was watching Toy Story the other day. Can't help myself. <laughs> so for this one, I'm going to try and do like through the clouds into space. i got to say, I don't enjoy this one as much as I did the other one. Also trying a different method, which I think is where I go a little wrong. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I got my foot stuck, hang on. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> so, I rearranged a little bit, but same method as before, layer by layer, shading. We've gone for a different array of colours this time. We're going grey, pink to purple slash dark blue for the, the space part. It's just this one's so everywhere. <laughs> I 
Yeah. I was kind of like, I don't know whether I like that. I don't know whether I like the pink and the grey. No going back now. So we're onto a darker pink now. Again, trying to make it look 3D. I'm not doing a, as good a job as the the deep sea one. And there wasn't much that I could put in there. Like the other one had the fish, the mermaid and the stingray. But in the sky, I was like, what can I put in the sky? Apart from birds and like when we get to the space like planets. <laughs> It's just so busy. I think that's the problem. But and not clear layers like the other one. This just looks like I've drawn a sky. I went rogue. <laughs> I went rogue and tried my own pattern, but failed drastically on this one. My pencil kept snapping on me. Yeah, I, I definitely prefer the uh, deep sea one to the sky. The sky one was a bit of a fail compared to the other one, but let me know which one you like. I put the paw print on the on the planet, but we're going to swiftly move on to this one. Create page of notes, sit and take notes in a room. No, I'm going to take the notes and I'm going to create something completely different. Still on the notes prompt. If you've been here for a while, you may know this. I did this pre-spam, but it has been in a sketchbook tour. I did a Columbo piece. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Columbo. I love him. I watch it all the time. <laughs> it's comforting to me now. <laughs> but I want to redo it. But I want to do a caricature of Columbo. This is a newly learnt, I want to say talent, but <laughs> I don't know how talented I am at it. I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks, so this could go drastically wrong. And I could insult Columbo, fully aware that Peter Falk is uh, not alive anymore, but Columbo still is very precious in my heart. And I don't want to offend him. But I'm just going to try. I'm going to take the things that I've learnt and just try. It's the only way that I'm going to do it. It's the same with the whole drawing human things at the beginning. I put it off because I didn't enjoy it. But now, this year, all I've done is draw humans in some form. Mermaid, Avatar, caricature. <laughs> I am a little bit addicted to learning this caricature now. Um, I'm currently reading through a second book to try a different style of caricature, so... But I had to try Columbo. It's not screaming Columbo at this point. <laughs> I loved that bit. Oh. I loved the little wrinkles and dirt patches I put on his coat because it's always rumpled and... <laughs>
So I'm adding the shading now, but I do change my mind and I actually colour this one. It's the first one that I've coloured. Which, I haven't watched any videos, I've just taken, obviously, my knowledge of colouring pictures and put it on here. <laughs> But with the hair now, it definitely looks like Glombo. I'm very proud of myself there. I tried adding just a touch of colour, but he looked almost ill. <laughs> so I do change that because his skin tone matches his shirt. <laughs> but I need to nail that coat colour and because in the last one I didn't have the right colour and I went green instead of like the like khaki colour. Oh look at him, he's so cool. And I read it the music notes for this old man. Which is what he whistles at the end. I believe it is piano. I don't know. I don't know how to read or write music. I just copied this off the internet. <laughs> and I put his phrase in there. Just one more thing. Because I do have a key ring that says that and a fridge magnet. <laughs> I love it. But I, I am actually really proud of um, that caricature. It definitely says Columbo. I'm slowly capturing the likeness in them, but let's be celebrating. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It will help me kick the YouTube algorithm. Uh, let me know if there's any celebrities you want me to caricature, because like, it's practice and I'm addicted. Feed my addiction. <laughs> I will catch you in the next one. Wait, 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 just one more thing. Subscribe. <laughs>